see, you see that crease, obviously. I mean, it's crazy. It runs the whole length of the quilt. That's a little bit harder to see. That one is really deep. Um, this right there, you can see it. Um, those are just ripples in the quilt. Okay, you can really see that on the back, right? That is a crazy crease. It's a crazy crease. You can really just see them. The light actually is helpful. So you can see these creases. Some of, you know, some of this is quilting you're looking at. That's just it being on the floor. But um, yeah, so it's like really uncool, man. So I'm gonna refold it in a way that, you know, is not, it's, it's not gonna be on the crease line when I refold it. free tissue paper you know put a layer of that in between the layers not quite even pretty close in terms of the fold looks pretty good yeah a little dust a little dust on the old uh, floor I don't know this is why I don't make glass figurines or like lasers, you know? I don't wanna work with fragile things is what I'm saying. I like quilts, cause you can wash them usually, not always. So then I'm gonna come in like this. I do wanna get this smooth. And you know, this is the old that's an old crease right there, so it's no longer, you know, it's no longer on that crease. So, you know, we got that, we got this. Uh, I think we're, this one was messed up. I don't know. Why did I choose to fold it like that? I'm not sure. I'm sure there's a reason. Let's try to put these things up. Okay, are you ready for this? It's happening. It's all happening, people. I don't know, it's gonna be close. I, I mean, I've got the whole stack in the bedroom to do. I really need to get that uh, tissue paper, put down plastic, something, cause this is, this is not cool. But um, I could do like garbage bags, I know, but it's so depressing. So I'm gonna get the tissue paper and <laughs> do this all over again. I mean, it'll be way easier. The next time. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Oh God. Okay, I am literally, and I do mean literally, out of breath. Um, huh. It's, uh, I don't know. Is our heroine going to do it? it? If it happens, it's gonna be tight. And no matter what, this is not manageable. I mean, I have to do something. That up there barely happened. And the bad news is, there's actually one quilt that didn't go in there and it's the whisper quilt because I'm going to do a video about it or a post about it at some point. And so I forgot about that and I tossed it over into the next room and forgot that it was there. So actually it's, it's one quilt shy of actually being manageable. So I, I got work to do. I got, I got some, I got thinking to do is what I'm saying. There are quilts that I just, won't get rid of um, until, you know, they're gonna have to bury me in certain quilts that I've made, but just a few. Little Black Dress, I love. Hello There, I really love. There are a few that aren't gonna go anywhere, but there are other quilts that I have 
up there that I, um, you know, I don't really need them. I, I make quilts for the pleasure of making them. I have made a lot of quilts in my life to teach from or like for a magazine or for a class or, or whatever. And you know, the emotional connection to some of those quilts, to be honest with you, some of them like, ah, some of them don't have amazing memories associated with them. I mean, it was like I made a particular quilt in a time in my life, which seems like 9,000 years ago. Maybe it was like a weird time in my life. I have a lot of weird times in my life. But someone really wonderful who has made quilts for many, many decades said uh, that someone told her once making a quilt is like writing a letter. Amazing. And there's some letters that like, I don't know, I don't need to keep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and by the way, another problem with this setup is that the more quilts that are packed in to a space, the more creased they're going to get because the pressure on the quilt is going to, um, it's going to make the, I mean, when we press something to get a crease in it, we're pressing it so that it will have like a crease in it. We're pressing it flat because we want it to be flat and creased, whatever. So this is obviously something that is happening in that cupboard up there and that's not good it's the opposite of laying a quilt flat basically so um yeah i'm gonna think about what to do but that's real life that's how i'm storing my quilts right now there's a lot of pressure i gotta tell you for me to like do everything right or know all the answers to things and i don't and uh if i have one like superpower it's that like i'm vulnerable i'll be vulnerable i'm not afraid of that and yeah, I'm really afraid there's going to be like mean comments or just like, Whoa, I can't believe it. that's a terrible example to set, you know, but honestly, like the people who might be upset about it, they're just jealous of that cupboard <laughs> or maybe they're, uh, they're hiding their own dirty little secrets about quilt storage. So thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, I have to say like, and subscribe, share the video. That would be great. Share the video so more people can see my shame.